Hi everyone and welcome to Dragon Tech Creations. I am Dragon Tech and this is the first episode um, of hopefully a long running series um, on my brand new channel Dragon Tech Creations where I'm going to show you how I go about making an RPG game. Um, hopefully I can do it justice and um, hopefully try and teach you some bits and bats. Um, but also learn on the way. Hopefully you guys could teach me how to do a few things um, and give me some pointers. Uh, that's the idea. Um, yeah, so I've always wanted to build a game since I was younger and now I thought what 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 a perfect opportunity to do such a thing. Um, so I'm going to start off here as you can see I've got the um, just a spreadsheet open and I thought I'd uh, start off with just listing a co uh, some some enemy types that I could put down in the actual game. Uh, I'll go into detail in the game a little bit m over the next few episodes and just through time, really, as it's as it's uh, progressing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do everything really to do with the game that I wanna I wanna build. So there's gonna be rules. Uh, there's gonna be artwork that I'm gonna be drawing. There's also going to be uh, craft uh, things as well, so like um, any templates that I might need to make or uh, board sections. Cause um, it, because it is going to be um, a dungeon crawler type game, so it's going to be board sections where you walk across, uh, where your group will move across using squares. Um, if you if you've never seen these kinds of games, guys, then um, one of the best ones that I could think of that I have played before was uh, Warhammer Quest. Um, so, and that's the kind of game that, I, and it's you kind of build up, uh, get experience, gain experience, uh, get better weapons and armor, and it's all about gaining wealth and um, and not notoriety really, and being famous. So let's start off. So it's all underground, first of all. Let's just put that out there. It's the the tunnels and catacombs and stuff like that. It's all underground. So they're the kind of monsters that we want to put in there. Um, so first of all, I'm thinking giant giant rat. Um, let's get on the part. So giant rat. Um, let's make that capital. Yeah, so these are the kind of things that you're going to encounter. Um, anything that might live subterranean, subter uh, uh, subterranean or underground. or So you've got giant bat as well. It's always a good start. Uh, these are the three that I always go for. Because um, I've obviously made these kinds of games before. But um, instead of the giant spider which you see a lot I um, did think of another another type of creature called the scuttler which is very similar it's just got no like three instead of three sections its body's made out of two these all these I'm gonna start drawing and and um, setting up the rule book uh, that's what I kind of want to take you guys on the journey really um, so what else we got and if you, if you think of any yourself guys just don't don't hesitate to put it in the comments below and I'll uh, I'll add them because if the if especially if the good ones so I'm thinking I forgot to put a, a thing in here actually let's uh, insert a column here um, and just put a level like that so these are all going to be level one creatures like so so what else can we think of? I should have really made a list, but I thought I'd just go through it with you guys. I thought, why not? We could talk about it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to separate it into different um, uh, series. So there's going to be the rules side of it, which is this. This is number uh, episode one of the rules of uh, making a um, RPG game, board game. And um, I'm probably going to do the the artwork and the crafting as 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 a separate series, really. Um, so tell me what you think about that, guys. Um, 
I don't know whether you want it all together or whether you think it'd be better separated like like I'm I'm thinking of doing. Um, also, I've I've put the stats down here. I'm not gonna fill in all this because it'd be it's a bit tedious and long-winded trying to choose the stats, and they are also always subject to change once testing goes on. Um, so and uh, my girlfriend and children are going to be the guinea pigs for this game, so they're going to be the testers for me. Unless you guys want to have a go, and then I can maybe put it in the description. I don't know how I could do that. But obviously this is really, really early days, guys. So um, there's literally, this is the only writing that I've done. And it's just copying what I've done before, really. Um, some of the rules might change. Some of the rules will definitely be tweaked and to make it look better, better and to work better. Um... So yeah, let's think of some more creatures. I'm um, thinking of a slug type thing, so let's just put um, acid slug. Sounds nasty enough. Try not to try and stay away from too many giant things. I don't want to put giant ant, giant this, giant that. You don't want too many repetitions. Um. Think underground, so some kind of worm maybe, like a rock worm. Although I do like to call it that. I know that's a dragon worm, but I think it sounds sounds a lot better. Um, so the acid sub probably level three maybe, and the rock worm. I'm thinking of a bigger bigger type creature, so we'll give it a seven. Um, don't know what the levels are going to go up to yet. Probably 10. So maybe not too high. So we'll make that 5. And then we've got the standards like the skeleton. Because there are um, graves and and stuff like that. And the zombie as well. And maybe we can add some variations on that. Like the zom oh, zombie rat. I always prefer to do these kind of things on the on the spreadsheet. Um, as you can see, I'm using Open Office, uh, which is a similar sort of thing to uh, Excel, Windows Excel, but it's not. It's a free version, so it's a lot cheaper, obviously, because it's free. But it works very similar, and um, I seem to be able to get the hang of it. It's it's very similar. Um, anyway, guys, so I'll get a few down, and then I'll get back to you, and I'll uh, show you what I've got. Okay guys, so welcome back, and as you can see I've just added a few more, so we can just talk about what I've written and we can give them a level, so we've got the skeleton which is obviously a level 1, zombie I think should be a little bit stronger, so maybe a level 2, we've got plague rat, so yeah I thought, at first I put zombie rat, as you, if you remember, um, and I changed that to plague rat, so uh, we'll probably keep that as level 1, uh, rat swarm, We'll make that level 2 because if you imagine a swarm of rats running over you, you're not going to be able to kill them as easy. So we've got Skeleton Knight, which is pretty high. We'll say 4. Skeleton Archer 2. And Warrior 2 as well. Now the Mubus is um, a creature that I created when a long time ago. And I've always used it in my games because I, I like the name. I um, don't know where I got the name from, I just made it up from somewhere, it just sounded really disgusting. Um, and it's sort of like a slug creature with tentacles coming out of it, it's uh, not a very nice thing. Um, and it's poisonous and all that um, sort of stuff. So we'll probably give that a 3 I think. Uh, the Dragonette, um, I'm trying to think of something smaller than a dragon, because we are in caves and stuff. So a full size dragon is not going to fit in there, so I was thinking somewhat smaller. And usually you get, if you put et on the end of something, it's a bit a little bit smaller, so we'll say Dragonette. Um, but it's still going to be pretty high, so I'd say 5. These are all subject to change, obviously, I'm just going through things. We'll give Scarab a 2, that's just like a large beetle. And uh, Phantom, we'll give a 3. Uh, Cave Critter is like a race of creatures that I um, 
created which I like. Uh, Neanderthals, like technology, you know, stone tools and um, pretty much only got fire and stuff like that. Um, and the li- the small and they live underground in caves, obviously. And they kind of attack things and eat things down there. So that's kind of like the race. So I'll probably put um, Cave Critter uh, Warrior as well. And maybe um, Cave Critter... See, they wouldn't have an archer, but I want some kind of ranged creature. Uh, part of them, so probably sling. So we'll call it a slinger. Um, and probably a cave critter shaman as well. Seeing as they're a little bit behind in technology. So they might not have mages, probably won't have mages. So we'll call it a shaman. So it's... Um, Although they probably will follow earth type magic. But we'll keep it as that for now. So a cave critter would be one. Um, the warrior would be two maybe. Slinger one and the shaman three. Let's just keep it as that for now. Um, yeah so we've probably got another couple of minutes left of the... Uh, episode. I'm probably going to do it about 15 minutes long. Uh, there's going to be obviously more to show you next episode. I'm going to have filled all this in and added some um, thingies, but I just want to put some specials in there. So, Giant Rat, uh, let's give it a special rule. Well, Giant Bat's got Fly. So, we should call it Flight. That's its special rule. Uh, Scutter is Poisonous. Or venomous. We'll say poison. Um, yep, Scuttler is poison. There's also another one that I... Scuttle Spine. And Scuttle Spike. So the, the Scuttle Spine is a similar creature to the Scuttler, except it's a little bit bigger and it's got spines on its back which can shoot. Uh, so we'll give that a level, what does the Scuttler get, one, yeah, so, no, not three, we'll give that a two, or maybe the Scuttle Spike a three, and the Scuttle Spike is like, it's like a tortoise shell over the top of it, so it's, with spikes on it, so it's, it's a familiar, you know, it's really ha- armoured up, um, so what else we got, we've got Scuttler, we've got Acid Slug, um, Acidic Body maybe, Acidic Trail. We'll put a acidic trail. I could imagine it leaving behind an acidic trail that you can't walk on, maybe. Um, and maybe a acidic blood, acid blood as well. Yep. So if you attack it, then you get splashed, maybe like that. Rock worm. Uh, we'll call it tunneler. So that means you can move underground. Which uh, be um, spell it right first? Um, okay, skeleton. Um, I want to give it something because it's got no flesh, so shooting it with an arrow is not going to give it do much damage to it really. The idea of arrows and piercing um, weapons is to uh, make you bleed out, so or punch your organs and stuff like that. So. If the skeleton doesn't have them, then it should be slightly immune to that sort of thing. So we'll give it... Uh, what can we call it? Skeletal body or... Bone armor. No, don't like that one. Skeletal... Body. Zombie, um, we'll call it Plague, Plague Bite, and we'll give the same to the Plague Rat, yes please, uh, Rat Swarm, 
Um, I want to put a few types of swarms in, but I could only think of rats at the moment. I might put bat swarm in there as well. Let's put that in. I don't know what the collective noun for bats are, but I'll uh, probably put that in. Uh, what did I put the bat swarm as? Two, so I'll probably put the bats as two as well. Um... Okay, rat swarm. Right, we're, we're getting to the end of the episode now, guys. Just a few more minutes, and uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Let's be quick about this. Right, we'll leave that for now. Skeleton has got the skeletal body, so we'll give that. And the archer has got the skeletal body, and so has the warrior. Nubis is poison. Uh, very much. Uh, Dragonair, fire breath. Should we give it a fire breath? I mean, it's not only, it's just special rules, special attacks, that sort of thing. Uh, Scarab, uh, we'll give nothing for now. Phantom, ethereal. Uh, cave critter, nothing. Uh, Scuttle spine. Um, Spine Salvo, should we call it? And then Scuttle Spike, we'll call it the um, Chitin. Carapace. Chitin Carapace, uh, Bat Swarm Flight again. I think. Flight is just going to affect um, shooting, maybe, you know, ranged attacks. I think that's all about, that's about it, really. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, th thanks for watching. Hope you like this kind of thing. Uh, please give me some feedback. Um, and don't forget to like, uh, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'm Dragatech. Goodbye for now.